The Donkey by G.K. Chesterton When fishes flew and forests walked and figs grew upon thorn, some moment when the moon was blood, then surely I was born. With monstrous head and sickening cry and ears like errant wings, the devil's walking parody on all four-footed things. The tattered outlaw of the earth of ancient crooked will, starved, scourged, deride me, I am dumb. I keep my secret still, fools, for I also had my hour, one far fierce hour and sweet, there was a shout about my ears and palms before my feet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. We will glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whom is our salvation, our life, and resurrection. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests, with the elders and scribes, and the whole council held a consultation, and they bound Jesus, and led him away, and delivered him to Pilate. And they all condemned him and said, He deserves to die. When Pilate heard these words, he brought Jesus out and sat down on the judgment seat at a place called the pavement, but in the Hebrew, Gabbatha. Then he handed Jesus over to them to be crucified. God did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for all accused of any crime, for the courts of justice in our land, and for all who bear the authority of government. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of a skull, which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. Although he was a son, he learned obedience through what he suffered. Like a lamb, he was led to the slaughter, and like a sheep that before its shearers is mute, he opened not his mouth. Worthy is the lamb who is slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and glory and honor and blessing. The Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. For the transgression of my people, he was stricken. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for all who lay burdens upon others, for those whose hearts need to be turned, and for those who need repentance, and for ourselves, 
when we burden others. Almighty God, whose beloved Son willingly endured the agony and shame of the cross for our redemption, give us courage to take up our cross and follow him, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself, taking the form of a servant, and was born in our human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is the Lord our God. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for the sick, for those who suffer from life-threatening illnesses, for those who suffer at this time from COVID-19 virus, for those with cancer and all whose lives are threatened, for those in mental darkness and for those who suffer from addictions. O oh God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers that by reason of the frailty of our nature, we cannot always stand upright. Grant us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. To what can I liken you? To what can I compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What likeness can I use to comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? For vast as the sea is your ruin. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. A sword will pierce your own soul too, and fill your heart with bitter pain. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for the particular needs of women, for women who are hurt or neglected, for women who have no one to advocate for them, for the rights of women in society, in the church, and in our culture. O God, who willed that in the passion of your Son, a sword of grief should pierce the soul of the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother. Mercifully grant that your church, having shared with her in her passion, may be made worthy to share in the joys of his resurrection, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy 
Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. The fifth station. The cross is laid on Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. As they led Jesus away, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name, who was coming in from the country and laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Whoever does not bear his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for all who help others, for social workers and counsellors, for pastors, and particularly for deacons who serve others and remind us of our vocation to serve. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son came not to be served, but to serve, bless all who, following in his steps, give themselves to the service of others, that with wisdom, patience, and courage they may minister in his name to the suffering, the friendless, and the needy. For the love of him who laid down his life for us, even your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The sixth station, a woman wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. We have seen him without beauty or majesty, with no looks to attract our eyes. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised and we esteemed him not. His appearance was so marred, beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the children of men. But he was wounded for our transgressions, he was bruised for our iniquities. Upon him was the chastisement that made us whole, and with his stripes we are healed. Restore us, O Lord God of hosts, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for all artists and musicians and all who reveal God to us, for all who beautify our worship and create holy spaces which stir our hearts. O God, who before the passion of your only begotten Son revealed his glory upon the holy mountain, grant to us that we, beholding by faith the light of his countenance, may be strengthened to bear our cross, and be changed into his likeness from glory to glory, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The seventh station. Jesus falls for a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. For the transgressions of my people he was stricken. But as for me, I am a worm and no man, 
scorned by all and despised by the people. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for those burdened by poverty and indigence, for those who have inadequate housing, for all who find economic opportunity elusive. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for the human race, you sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross, giving us the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may walk in the way of his suffering and also share in his resurrection, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The eighth station. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There followed after Jesus a great multitude of the people, and among them were women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for peace throughout the Middle East, especially in Jerusalem, the city holy to three of the world's great religions. Teach your church, O Lord, to mourn the sins of which it is guilty and to repent and forsake them, that by your pardoning grace, the results of our iniquities may not be visited upon our children and our children's children. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The ninth station. Jesus falls for a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am the man who has seen affliction under the rod of his wrath. He has driven and brought me into darkness without any light. He has besieged me and enveloped me with a bitterness and tribulation. He has made me dwell in darkness like the dead of long ago. Though I call and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. Remember, O Lord, my affliction and bitterness, the wormwood and the gall. He was like a lamb led to the slaughter. And like a sheep that before its shearers is mute, so he opened not his mouth. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for all who are persecuted for their religious faith, for Christians suffering persecution around the world, and for all who have been persecuted by Christians. O God, by the passion of your blessed Son, you made an instrument of shameful death to be for us the means of life. Grant us so to glory in the cross of Christ that we may gladly suffer shame and loss for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy mortal one, have 
have mercy upon us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of a skull, they offered him wine to drink, mingled with gall, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them by casting lots. This was to fulfill the scripture which says, they divided my garments among them, they cast lots for my clothing. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for the homeless, the hungry, and those whom society finds it most difficult to help. Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Saviour, gave his body to be whipped and his face to be spit upon, give us grace to accept joyfully the sufferings of this present time, confident in the glory that shall be revealed. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him, and with him they crucified two criminals, one on the right, the other on the left, and Jesus between them. And the scripture was fulfilled which says, he was numbered among the transgressors. They pierced my hands and my feet. They stare and gloat over me. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for all who are dying, especially those whose death is imminent and those who are in fear. Let us pray for those for whom life support will soon be ended. Lord Jesus Christ, you stretched out your arms of love on the hard wood of the cross, that everyone might come within the reach of your saving embrace. So clothe us in your spirit, that we, reaching forth our hands in love, may bring those who do not know you to the knowledge and love of you, for the honour of your holy name. Amen. Holy God, Holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And when Jesus had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And then, crying with a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Christ for us became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for the departed, for those whose faith was in the word made flesh, and those whose faith was known to God alone. O God, who for our redemption gave your only begotten Son to the death of the cross, 
and by his glorious resurrection delivered us from the power of our enemy. Grant us so to die daily to sin, that we may evermore live with him in the joy of his resurrection, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The thirteenth station. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. All you who pass by, behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow. My eyes are spent with weeping, my soul is in tumult, my heart is poured out in grief because of the downfall of my people. Do not call me Naomi, which means pleasant, but call me Mara, which means bitter. For the Almighty has dealt very bitterly with me. Her tears run down her cheeks, and she has none to comfort her. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for all who care for the dying and those who minister to them of God's gifts of comfort and strength. Lord Jesus Christ, By your death, you took away the sting of death. Grant to us, your servants, so to follow in faith where you have led the way, that we may at length fall asleep peacefully in you and wake up in your likeness. For your tender mercy's sake. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. The fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who also was a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be given to him. And Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. You will not abandon me to the grave, nor let your Holy One see corruption. Let us pray. In silence, let us pray for all who minister to those who grieve. O God, your blessed Son was laid in a tomb in a garden and rested on the Sabbath day. Grant that we who have been buried with him in the waters of baptism may find our perfect rest in his eternal and glorious kingdom, where he lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy mortal one, have mercy upon us. O Saviour of the world, who by your cross and precious blood have redeemed us, save us and help us, we humbly beseech you, O Lord. Let us pray. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you have delivered us from the dominion of sin and death and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. And we pray that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his love he may raise us to eternal joys who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now to Christ who loves us and washed us in his own blood, 
and made us a kingdom of priests to serve his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. <laughs>